Hey guys, welcome to the Stay at Home Shopping Network. This week we are premiering our Stay at Home Shopping Network because we are in California. Whoop, whoop, visiting Debbie's Design Diary, doing some training, getting some beach time in. But we didn't want to miss the Stay at Home Shopping Network because the new inventory has been backing up the last few weeks. We've missed last week. Yep, we've got a few new items and we also have just a sprinkling of offerings from Roundtop. We're slowly making our way through the trailer. I kind of wanted to do an all-in-one video, but there's so much, so it's just gonna take me a while to get it all processed, so we're gonna go through it. Um, Mariah is on here for the premiere dropping link, so you can click that live chat button so that we can get the links to everything. And we are gonna do same format with a uh, live taping. Yep. Um, not really an edited video, so it should be similar to what you guys are used to seeing. And you can shop at jrbhome.com is where you can find all these items. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna show something that we found. We've had these before, but we got a bunch at Round Top. We found a lot of them. So correction, we have had these before, but I have never sold them before. Oh, you've I've, never sold these on the no, website? No, I've never been able to find them. We had regular seltzer bottles, but not the blue and green. I had four that I purchased in Tennessee at boot camp, how yep. many years ago that was, and right. I have been hoarding them until. And then I, you had the three. I think I only got you two actually oh, that I got ones. you. Yeah. And I did wind up selling those just because I wound up getting the the blue green ones. Yeah. But luckily in Round Top, I was able to find a source. I don't know if I will be able to reorder, so I was able to pick up a bunch of these. They are forty nine ninety five, and they are in flat rate shipping, and they're all shades of blue and green wavy gra grass. <laughs> You got the wavy grass out here. Watch out for it. It's greener on the other side. Wavy glass, but and some of them are super light all the way to like super dark. And you'll notice yeah. the tops are different. You can see a little bit of variation. I mean, they're actually used seltzer bottles. Some of them have fluid. We actually had hand pick of them. So we tried, I mean, some of them were almost all the way full. We tried to get them as little uh, moisture in there as possible. Yeah, so the guy came to pick it up because we had a huge load. We were buying tonnage. You guys are going to see lots of fun stuff coming. And he's like, I thought you'd be done already. I'm like, look, I got to go through the whole box. I was almost like a handstand in the box, <laughs> finding all my favorite tops, making sure the colors were right. I mean, you got to hand pick your junk. I just wanted to show you kind of like the uh, the waviness of the glass. I don't know. Up close. Can... Look how thick that is. There's some little seating here but they're good, they're cool. Yeah, they're awesome and I'm super excited to be able to offer them because whenever I display them, people always say, where can I get some? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so I was super excited. I actually bought them from two different vendors while we were in um, Round Top and one of them said that I might could wholesale, like because he wholesales, yeah. and I might could get some more. So hopefully there's something I can restock. I mean, but when they're gone, they're gone. Fingers crossed, we can so, get more. But super excited. for now, however many we have, they're on the website. Yeah. All right, so new are these candle wax warmers. We've had the kind that plug in with a cord, but these actually go directly in the outlet. And I, they don't have as big of a top on them as the ones that plug into the wall, but I prefer them because they're harder to tip over because there's no cord well, and it's like stuck into the The cord wall. runs for like four feet all over your counter or wherever you're displaying it. I like these a lot and I was skeptical because they are well, like a porcelain. So I was like, like, how's that gonna be I'm in the like, wall? I'm like, can that really hang in the wall there? Is it gonna hold that up? And because they added this third prong where the ground goes, it's just plastic on this it's particular like the extra one. Leg. It holds it in there so good. So it comes in this minty color and then this cobalt blue, and then we've got the mason jars up. Did you get the price on these? Oh, I had it and I missed it. I don't, I think I didn't write it down on there. Oh no, that's all right, I will look it up for you. That's okay. We don't have comments because we're not actually live. <laughs> so. It's, you know, we prep and we prep and we prep and inevitably when you have 45, 50 items that you're showing, I something's gonna fall through the cracks. Well, we've got these. It, oh, you know what? I think it's on the box. Where'd you put the boxes? That's why I didn't They're have They're over it. there. <laughs> Jamie's like, I gotta take them out of the boxes. And look, they're so much cuter out of the box. So they're $10.95. Oh, there you go. $10.95. So you just, I took them out of the box. That's where the price tag went. So $10.95 for these. And we also carry the Antique Candle Company melts as well as the DIY Paint Company makes their own candle scents. And then we have those melts as well. So lots of good selection for these. So I feel like this is one of the best buys of the day. It's three baskets. They've got this really good, they're called Seagrass Bowl Set. $18.95 for three fun-sized baskets. 
So spring's coming. Um, these are fine to sit down, but you could also take and hang them on the wall sideways. Oh, yeah. I think that would be really cute. Um, and they've got like just a really great texture to them. And yeah, the price is really good. I was like, wow, I did good buying those. So $18.95 and you get three. Spring's coming, lots of people are planting, so. Yeah, well, and they've got, you can see kind of on the bottom, the, uh, the weaving pattern on there, it's good. I like these kind of baskets too for like sock organization, or if you have a bunch of tank tops and you just like to roll those up. I mean, I know you have a lot of tank tops. Yeah, I roll my tank tops up a lot. And you know, put socks, socks would be all right for me. You could fit like three pairs of your ginormous socks. So I was actually really excited when I saw this. Um, large cast iron hat hook. These are cool and they're big. Like, look at this compared to my head. Um, they're they're thirty five ninety five, but they're heavy. These are what we would call weapon grade. So they're made old, like the old fashioned style for like a man's hat, like I don't know the fancy. It would work with my hat. <laughs> it would. So you put the bigger like if you've got like the uh, the cowboy style. I don't know what is it Stetson? Sombrero? Is it called the Stetson style? I don't. I don't, know. I don't know. You. I, I wore hats. one as a kid quite a bit when I was a rancher. <laughs> in your Wranglers. Yeah, and then I graduated to a, I don't know if graduated, to like a, uh, I don't know, I can't even, like, they're like the army hats that, I don't know. The bucket hats? No, uh, maybe. Is that yeah, what they're like called? Yeah, like the bucket hats with a floppy rim? Yeah, that, then I wore those and then I just wore all ball caps. Anyway, Seb was excited about this. This is so cool. Because I, I have hats floating all over the house. I know. I think the farmhouse <laughs> closet is probably going to get one of those. You could also use it for like a robe in a bathroom or whatever because it's got a good like... It's big. Yeah. Also large in stature. I had no idea that thing was that big when I bought it. I mean, it's even cooler because Check it, it out next. I mean, I'm going to put them in front of my face so you can see how big they actually are. I love it using your face as a measurement. Look how big around that is. It's like Pinocchio. <laughs> you guys want to hear it? Show the people. Oh, okay, the dinger. <laughs> it's twenty eight ninety five. Isn't it called a clapper? It is called a clapper. I like to call it the dinger. It's loud. Because it goes ding 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 ding. It's loud. You yeah, that's a, that's a loud. You loud. could really get your Santa on, you know, just. <laughs> You get so many donations in your bucket with that, if you were the Santa with that. While we're on cast iron, I'm also going to show these pools, because some are back in stock, and this one is new. This no, one, we've had that one for a while. We've had this one with mm -hmm. the backer? It just went out of stock really I'm fast. I'm surprised that you never used it in the The cast iron already. hardware, I order like every month or so, because it's always on back order. This is actually an order from last September Oh. that came in. When so we put the cabinets these in. These are the ones that we have behind us, so they're, they're, the they're 395 and then we also have the small pools back in stock that are $3.95 and not, I forgot to bring them, but the mercantile pools that are over there on my hutch. If you guys remember that project, I don't mm. know if they can see them, but the mercantile pools are back. And they're then, on the website. You guys can go get a good picture. And this them. is the pool with the back plate. So lots of pools back in stock. Um, just search the word pool or handle or hardware. They'll all come up. They're all cast iron. Um, mostly the same finish. Sometimes it looks a little bit different, but they're all awesome. So I'm super excited about these. Now yeah. when people got projects, they've been waiting for <laughs> to put those on. All right, next. Hang on, let me move the bell. I've got... Right, I'll, I'll move these back. Yeah. All right, so if you've got a furry little friend that needs some biscuits, we've got this enamel tin and is ready for some treats. It says dog biscuits, and then it's got like this Fun French style. Would you would you call that a filigree? Yeah, I like the handle on it. Yeah, the handles. It's like just an a, antique chrome. Yep. That's good. good. It's about a quart size, so you know, you can fit treats for big dogs and little dogs in here. Like only a few if they're big dogs. We got little dog treats. Did you say how much it is? Fourteen ninety five. Yep. We've already sold a couple. I just really like the coloring on that. Dog treat bags aren't really that aesthetically pleasing. So there's a little bunny in here, cast iron bunny. Also $3.95. That's the number of the day <laughs> for the cast iron. But look yeah. at look how good this is. And it's it's heavy. Like if you need to weigh some napkins down or something, this is your go-to right there. I just like things that aren't easily broken. I think it's actually called cast iron rabbit on the website. Probably not bunny, you just like yeah. to say bunny. Yeah, bunny feels, for anything like this, like a rabbit or a hare, I feel like they're more like a jackrabbit. We've been out of these forever. This is the Aqua Farmhouse Enamel Soap Dish, 1095. 
Um, if you've been waiting on them, I think we got like five this time, so get them while they're hot. I ordered these and the white ones, and these just barely came in. The white ones are still out of stock. All right, comment below. Are you a bunny person or a rabbit person? Because I'm, I'm dying to know now, like, what's more common? Didn't you just ask your dad if it was still bunny eating season in, in Alabama based off the weather? Yeah. Gross. All right. I saw that in the family chat today. I was like, they're fluffy. Well, we won't dive deep into it, but it's better than chicken. Well, chicken's not that great. <laughs> I only really like eggs. All right. <laughs> Oh, well, let's show the rest of the enamelware. Oh, got yes. more cast iron. Okay, so there's a sneaky cast iron. <laughs> Jamie was like, I want all the cast iron things. In my defense, I ordered the stuff all at different times. It just happened to ship together. So this is genius, this door handle hook. So it's basically like your, your face plate and the key. And then, you know, it's, it's a hook for your hat. You could use it for a hook, whatever. but you could also, it's got holes in it so you could put it on a cabinet like if you had a cabinet that didn't need a turning knob yeah you just need to pull it in and out um and this one is let me see the price 5.95 so the price point for how big this oh, is, is we really broke good. away from 3.95 folks it's bigger it's five it is bigger show it next to I the mean, bunny this is it's a, it's a bunny or a rabbit? or the rabbit sorry the 3.95 rabbit next to the 5.95 i feel like the 5.95 is these guys I mean, the bunny's be, more solid i mean these guys could be friends you could make like a little fairy garden with just that like as your base in the sea grass basket oh, with some, oh with some man grass. i'm seeing a whole vignette you know what i have made a fairy garden or two with our daughters i am well versed in my fairy garden do you skills. know how many fairy gardens i have made none my mom loves them my mom will make a fairy garden all day they're messy you. and they get stuff everywhere so i make stuff do it okay, okay so bowls if you need some amazing enamel bowls We've got them. They're four ninety five a piece. Great price. Great They're price. good for ice cream sundaes. They're good for anything. Like this would. Oop. Can you pull apart? Yeah, I kind of got smushed. We actually need to pull some out of stock because I ordered these for us. Oh. I ordered. I mean, there's a bunch. There's some for me, some for sale. But I need to pull like eight. You know out what of I stock. like most about these? <laughs> Guess. Guess what I like most about this bowl. Of the black rim. Yes, that was actually it. Really? <laughs> yeah. I just, you, look at the contrast on there. Just, you know, just that subtle little touch adds a lot of well, fun. Well, the color is really good. Um, and it's similar to like my tea kettle that I got in France. So this Back is in stock. not, let's see, $4.95. This one is $17.95. That's if you need a lot of ice cream. It's actually a basin, more like for like a dry sink setup. I would use this for mixing pancakes or waffles. One or cereal. Two. I can picture you eating cereal out That's of that. That's a little big for my cereal bowl. You had two bowls yesterday of the big ones. But I only feel they have full bowl times. So one of these would have been the same as what you No, did. it is not. I Now I got to show the people. I feel like when the people see your cereal bowl. Okay, in his defense, I buy these giant cereal bowls because him and my dad like to fill the small bowls up so high that they overflow. So I got these bigger cereal bowls so that way then they can fill it halfway and it doesn't slosh up. So I fill this halfway full, typically raisin bran, it's my favorite. But sometimes honey o's. That's the follow up. Now favorite. I'm hungry for cereal. Me too. It's but that time of night. Those. But it's not, not night. this is not same same. I think two of those is same same. If this halfway is two of those halfway. All right. We'll have to do some yeah. water test later. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you know, if you don't want to spill your milk, because you have to fill it to the brim. So this, because bowl. this isn't live, we can actually test this out after we're done filming and throw it at the end of the video. Okay, so we'll, try. Out. we'll try it out. We'll try it out. I'm going to put it up so that I don't bang it around. All right. Okay. Anyways, enamel <laughs> basin, $17.95 on that note. Apparently, we're real chatty today. <laughs> we missed everybody. We were gone in round top. Yes. Here, show them that. I'm going to pull some stuff Okay, these forward. are little tin cupcake stands. They're $5.95. A lot of it has some cupcakes made in there, but they're tiny little They're $5.95 each, and I think Ooh. I'm going to see if I can find fake cupcakes. Now that you want to eat them, but they're so cute for display. And you can actually make fake that's cupcakes. That's just, that's, there's. But that, that sounds like a lot of work. That's wrong. You know, there's fake flowers. There's some fake fruit out there. But when you start delving into the world of fake cupcakes, I feel like you've really committed some serious crimes. No, you can put them on your crimes. shelf in your kitchen and they look cute. You know, it's dinner time right now. And all I want is cereal and real cupcakes. 
Well, I'm gonna look for fake cupcakes, but in the meantime, we have these, they're $5.95 each and they're super cute. Jack, are you coming in for your, apparently he's been needing to get some sneak peeks in. He's hi. missed you guys too. Hi. All right. You lost a tooth them. today, show them, Jack. Show them, your, show them your missing tooth, can they see it all the way over there? You actually have most of your teeth missing out of your mouth. Well, some of it was because he doesn't brush them enough. All right. Yeah, he's not Goodbye. a great brusher. Love I you. have to stand there every night and make sure he gets his full two minutes in. And like you ask him in the morning, did you brush him? Yeah, I did it. Let me smell. He didn't really do it. You did not. Okay, cast iron, six ninety five. It's a bird bottle opener. Something we have had before, but it's back in stock. You can see why, because look how cute it is. Did yeah. you show him the cast iron latch already? I'm about to show him. So we had the. Uh, we little, don't have a latch on our door, and I'm thinking this. We had the again. latch that we were gonna put on our door, and I'm such a slacker, I haven't done it yet. And then she brings me this thing, and I'm like, um, yes, please. It's the medieval latch. Yeah. And you, you can spin it and lock it closed because it's got this off kilter, off camber, I don't know how you'd say it. It's got a mechanism? Yeah, and you twist it, and it makes it tight as you go. So now you cannot, that's locked. Like, Legit. This is, you could use this on your shed. It's too legit. On the inside. How much are they? Did you look up the price? Yeah, I did. They're $17.95. I'm going to show you guys close so you can see how cool that is. That's, these have also been on back order for many, many moons. So who knows when they'll be back You know what stock. this would be really great on is like an but old. We have them now. What? An old trunk or like a big crate. I was thinking like a, a farmhouse. Jack just went to the bathroom. Jack just went to the bathroom. Jack, there's four bathrooms in this house and you have to use the toilet by where we're filming. <laughs> All right, buddy, time to clear out. <laughs> we'll be done, we're like halfway through. No, out. Goodbye. Adios, amigo. All right, so $17.95. This would look really great on an old farm hutch too. Or if you were building something to look old. Yeah, I think uh, honestly like a big cabinet or something on the front latch, this would be, everybody would be like, oh, where'd you get that latch? I put some chippy paint on it. Okay. Because we sold out of the ice skates in March. We're going to try it again in April. <laughs> hey, everybody likes a rusty ice skate. Um, $6.95 and you too can have a rust, rusty ice skate in April. They're fun. Hey, you know what? If you don't get them now, what if they don't have them? See, that's the thing. Like when we ordered these, I'm pretty sure it was like last year around the appropriate time to sell them. It's and like, we're barely getting them now. It's like the Hunger Games of Christmas decor right now. Okay. All right. Let's do joggers because they're right in front of me. Then we'll do some more round but top you've stuff. Been, yeah, you have been leaning on those, they're warm. Yes. So all of our joggers are $19.95. So these ones are hold them butterfly high? and these go small to extra large. Are these new? I feel like we've had maybe a different style of butterfly before. Yeah, the other ones had like the apothecary ones. I was wearing them like a couple days ago. I you pretty see much that? have it's only like, got like this ferny, the last five days. This gray ferny plant and then the vibrant butterflies on this there. This one is so cute. Oh, it's clouds. It's like clouds and rainbows and rain. I, I don't know. I was like April showers. I don't know. These go to small to extra large. They're really fun. Then if you want to be more sophisticated, we have fake snakeskin. These are plus size. I like That's it because, actually a pretty good print of snakes. I was going to say because the pattern is like a fun pattern, but the color is neutral. So it could go with a lot of different tops and it's not a cheesy snake skin. Well, and unless you're like right up on it, like if you were wearing these and you're at the grocery store picking out like they're your tomatoes, they're just going to look like they're a fun gray, almost like a damask. I wouldn't go as far as damask, but they are cool. From across the room. Okay. So we also have another butterfly you have laser flowers. Vision. And these are plus size, and these are black with like a light, light, light pink and white, and some gray and red. And then, oh, I don't have them here, but we do have the camper joggers back in stock. I think small all the way up to 3X, so check those out. I gotta show you these cactus ones. And then the cactus, the cactus are kind of along the same line of the campers. They're really fun. They you know what? I grew up, up, I grew up with saguaros all over where I was at. And they're so wildly popular, like all sorts of cactus and prints and growing them in your house. It's blowing my mind. I'm like, those are pokey in the desert. They're, all, they're pokey <laughs> in the desert, but cute on your pants. <laughs> all right, so we have these ones are small flower joggers. These are just a really dainty floral print. 
black in the background with like red and cream and beige and pink. You know, I like this. It's a good turn from the huge florals where like half the flower covers up your thigh. Hey, I like huge florals, but I also understand some people like small. So there we go. We have other styles. These are just the newest joggers. Um, and then I'm not saying florals are bad. I'm just this is a nice. It's kind of uh, kind of like we're a ready for a Fourth of July. We've got leggings, and I think the leggings are plus. Size. Those aren't even Fourth of July colors. It's like an orangey red. It's red, navy blue, and white. Okay, sir. All right. Hold I on. have to get my eyes checked. Plus size. So these are plus size, one size fits all leggings. So these are like a one X to a three X in a legging. Also super soft. $14.95 and all the clothes are free shipping. So like the joggers, the leggings, free shipping. Who's ready to see some more stuff from Round Top? Boop, boop. All right, moving along. I'll move my jogger pile. Are, is some of this stuff the stuff we found out of the free bucket? Um, Only one item, one item from here. So we're gonna keep like items kind of together. It just makes it easier to show, but this is just a fun little, I'd say creamer, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Not not quite gravy boat creamer. There's Six ninety five for all like the silver and the pewter that we're gonna. This show. was made in Sheffield, England, and I just you know you see the creamers, but this one's like way wide open. It's just ready to it's give you all the cream open right now. Creamer. The handle's good on there. Three legs. Usually you see four. Do you see a lot of creamer legs? I always look for creamers with legs. It's the only way to go. This one's really cool. So this I'm gonna, one. I'm gonna try to show them. What's the price on that one? This one is $22.95. $22.95. It's got the, it's a butter dish. It's got the glass so you don't get your silver all dirty. And then and the on the top. The glass is missing in these. Let me show you this. This is engraved. It was like a trophy for showing horse or something. Showmanship for Appaloosa, something or other. And it also has feet. Oh yeah. All the good things. It has the cute little finial, the decorative edge, it has the feet, and it's like a trophy, which are all the things you want in collectible stainless steel. Yeah. Or not stainless steel. Silver. Tarnished silver. There you go. I'm gonna show and you this plated. one close too. And then we've got a covered dish for $19.95. So less than the butter dish, but bigger. Because the butter dish is more special, I think. But still. A cool piece. So I like to show you the inside here because someone kept this pretty clean. This is the tarnish that we love, but if you wanted to put some elgro grease into it, you could make it look like this. We saw at Round Top, we saw a lot of stuff that was like half tarnished. Like yeah, they like put a little polish on it, but they didn't hit it with the full. Like that butter dish. They didn't get it with the full elbow. Because I feel like if you leave some of the tarnish in the, in the crack, it makes a detail pop. So this is a really cool piece. It's pewtered, it's hammer pewter platter. Hand hammered, it says so hammer on the back. Hammer pewter platter. <laughs> and this is far, it's gonna all be in one collection. Like the, the I can't even say it. Tarnished silver and the platter will be in one collection with different letters. So make sure you're buying the letter that you want. Um, but this platter is 19.95. So right there, it's got a little stamp that says hand hammered. That's how I, I know. The florals on it. And the handles are really unique. Yes. That's good. It's got a little little ding here. It could easily be straightened out. Situation happening. Could easy, are you sure this is pewter? This feels like aluminum. Um, I'll just put mystery metal. I think it's aluminum. Okay. Do you think Either the handles way. are pewter because they're heavier? Um, they could be aluminum as well. They're just thick. They're thicker gauge than that. All right, we're gonna go with metal. Metal, some sort of metal. All right. Okay. Oh, we've got our lavender back. I that didn't look up the price. I can't remember. I looked this up. Sorry, They're I didn't. They're just a know. back in stock. I didn't know that one needed a price, a pricing. Lavender bundle. Hey, yeah, but you can't stand up. Bundle. Your face goes off camera if you stand oh, up. It's directly sourced from Provence, France, France. Sorry, and it's thirteen ninety five, and it smells. Yeah, it smells really good. Really? Now, when you get this, it's actual dried lavender. If you've got a couple bonus petals, scoop them up, put them in a little baggie, because they're dried and, man, shipping stuff like this is hard. Hey. It's but they good. usually arrive looking pretty good. It came from France to here, to, to me, to the other person, and they're still pretty well together, so I would say that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Open them back in there for you. Okay. 
I'm not gonna pop the tag off of this, but I wanted to show you guys. We'll open. We'll see if we can open it up a little bit. We've got the pig, and the in black, and then the brown uh, grain sack stripe. Is pig in black like men in black? Well, I don't know. He's getting ready. He's going out for a fancy evening. So these were out of stock, and they're back in stock now, and it's eight ninety five. It's a grain sack. It'd make a great pillow, but also it's an awesome towel. Is it and big a really enough for weight. a pillow? Um, if, if you backed it with something else. Like a pillowcase? Pillow mm -hmm. Or like a, you can make a lumbar pillow. Oh yeah. yeah. I've made many a pillow from towels. So $8.95, did you oh, tell them that already? Yeah, I looked it up, I didn't know you priced it. Yep. Okay, so next are these cast iron finial toppers that we picked up in Round Top. They're $9.95 each and they are actually from Old Fences. Yeah. And they're, and they're rusty. This one's a little golden rusty. It's just luck of the draw which one you get, but they're all pretty cool. Oh yeah, someone painted that up all kinds of fancy. Still a little rusty. And then some good they're like a fleur de lis style. Yeah. I couldn't pass them up. I love finials and these are cool because they actually were on top of um fences. Alright, what else we got? Oh, bless this house. Back in stock. $9.95. And we have one at the farmhouse, so. Glad to have those back in stock. Um, and I was gonna try to bring, so the rug that we have, the Buffalo Check Welcome Home rug that we have on the front porch is back in stock, but I accidentally grabbed this one. So I'm just gonna show you this one because we also carry this one. Look up doormats. We have this one and then the Buffalo Check, and I think they're like $22.95. Let me check. Doormat. $22.95. I'm not swearing to it, so hold on. Our one on the front porch has held up really well. I was right. And the other one says, hold on, uh, welcome friends and it's Buffalo check and it's the one that we have on the front porch. So this is 1995. Oh, I forgot to show you this. It's, that. Yeah, this is also from Round Top. Um, it's a little teapot, short and stout. GPNS silver. Electro-plated nickel silver. Yep. Uh, made in Japan, but I think I picked this one. Isn't this one of the ones I grabbed? I think sure. it is. It we'll is because it. it's heavy duty and I'm, I'm drawn to the stuff that's heavy for whatever reason. Do you know why? Because you break stuff. Yeah, I feel like it's like stout. It can handle. Here is its handle, here is its spout. Yep. Tip me over and pour me out. All right. On that note, let's. <laughs> I'm going to show a table next. Let's show a table. So this is the cottage table, another back ordered item. This one comes packed flat but it's really easy to assemble it just has a little latch here and you open up these turned metal they're kind of distressed looking legs and then it's got this rusty tin top that just sits down in here and you could put a plant in it you could use it for like drinks or serving whatever but it's really cool it's a it would be a good nightstand good side table i wonder if you could just like throw some ice in the bottom and put like some drinks. You know how you see those at like parties and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I think you could do that. That would be cute to kind of nestle them in there. And it's got like this kind of distressed um, finish on the wood. It's like aged or whatever. And I really like that. So yeah, it's it's good. So this one is 120, I think. Yep. And okay. then the one next to you is the one we keep by our tub. This also is actually out of mine, stock. but I bought one to see if it was cool. And then they went out of stock. I don't even think they can see that. Okay, you gotta take it to them. If you've seen pictures of my bathroom, you've seen this in Are there. you sneezy? Did you sniff that lamb? No, I got close? some foam up my nose from that foam in that package. I'm just showing you kind of. This the also design comes disassembled. This just got like four nuts that you screw on. Yep. Not super difficult. And this is what I keep next to my bathtub. But I love the filigree detail, the like patina on the legs. It's a fun piece. Yeah, um, as soon as the video's over, you can't have this one. I'm putting it back because it. Without this, I wouldn't be able to grab the soap from the tub. Because they don't tell you when you get these standalone tubs that you need to have a table next to it for all your stuff. Yeah. They have those little trays, and I'm like, that is never going to work. Zeb's going to, like, kick his leg up, and everything's <laughs> going to go. <sighs> so that table is a perfect yeah. size for next to my tub, and it holds, like, all my bath products, my bath bombs, my mitt, everything, because we carry a lot of bath and body products, and I own all of them. So. so, you know, for, for a bigger fella, I try to be fairly cautious and, and careful and move slowly, oh, but no, but if I do hit something, it's going, it's gone. I was like, <laughs> if there is an accidental, uh, droppage or banging, it's, uh, it's, it's done. All right. So on that note, this is parade of purses. We've got a bunch purses. of them. 
So they're all Le Papillon, which is my favorite brand. All of the pieces where you see that look like leather are leather, it's not vinyl. And this one is made from a vintage rug, so it's unique. And there's a couple in the collection. Um, they are $49.95 and they have free shipping. It's a cross body bag, so it fits across your body. And this one has a brown liner. Okay, Deb, I'm okay. showing you. It's got a really long strap on it. Yeah, and you can make it even longer because it's got a few different options there. So, yeah, and it comes with this kind of tucked inside there. Oh, it goes inside? Yeah. Okay. All right, this one I'm super excited about, and there may only be one available by the time the video goes up. <laughs> I didn't realize how cool it was. It looks kind of like a bowling it, ball Oh, bag, it's soft. And it's soft, and it's like chenille uh, where the gray is almost like a tapestry. It's $56.95. It's got a zipper on the outside, which I like, because I like to keep my phone. Oh, it's deep. Is it, does it go to the bottom? Yes! Oh, nice. And it's it's striped. I love the, like, the little grommet detail here, and then it's got a zipper top, and then it's stripy on the inside too. Oh, and it has the little feet on the bottom. This one's $56.95, and it is definitely a Mary Poppins bag. It's got a zipper pocket. It's like Two a beach bag here. here. So that's just a restock. Those sold out before we even finished the last time. It's a PVC, so it's got like this waxy PVC, perfect for the beach. Mm -hmm. um, it's $29.95 and it comes in the turquoise color. There's a magnetic clasp gray. on the top. Mm -hmm. And it does have a separate- For your phone. Little pocket inside with a zipper on it to keep your, your secure stuff safer. And they are hand sewn, so you'll see a little bit of imperfection. The logo and the little tag that says, be the change. It's um, fair trade products, the people that make them. So it's awesome and they are handmade. So they come, this is the, um, I can't remember what the name of this is. I don't know, look up Le Papillon and all the bags show up. That's a new one. Okay, so it says St. Tropez, France, 1922. You could have I think that. that's like a stamp is what that's it looks like. That's the Bezier Stripes one. I, I'm pretty sure I, and this is the French Bayonne bag. So the one that's the gray bag is the Valentine Jackard bag. A couple pockets in here. One's got a zipper. Did, did you tell me this one's thirty six ninety five? This is also a good beach bag, and it's got the. Hold on. Oh, Jack. We're gonna have to take a well, pause. We can edit this out because it's not live. What's wrong with Jack? Would you go? No, Eliza, go upstairs and check on him. Make sure he's okay. We're almost done. Tell them to also stay up there. Okay. We can just edit that out. What does this have on here? Uh, I don't know. Does it uh, say something just, special? No, it's just care instructions. Care instructions. And on here it says, be the change you wish to see in the world, Gandhi. Because all the bags have be the change on them. And then this big mamma jamma is all leather, $99.95. It's got kind of a distressed finish. These ones are always really popular. They got a little bit of a scratchy, worn look to them. This one has an outside pocket and the outside pocket does have a um, magnetic closure. And then the inside is this really great like black fabric. Oh, it smells good. Well, it's leather. You're gonna get more scratches on the bottom of that core door. <laughs> There's scratches they put on there and scratches that adds. And then- Those are the bonus ones. It does smell good. There's a zipper pocket here, and then a couple of open pockets, and then the top. I'm pretty sure that's like their signature. They always put like a special pocket inside with an extra zipper in there. They do, and then there's a zipper on the top. And this one's $99.95, and it is a good sized leather bag. So, and I, I like love it. the pocket on the outside. You guys know I love leather. It is a true story. All right, last. Phew, that was a lot of things. All right. We have two new fabrics. Are they um, new or are they back? Okay, so this one is back, and then I also forgot to bring, we have this in a blue color that's back in stock. Um, and this is new in the red, three stripes. And I think it's like, let me- All you sewers out there with these grain sack fabrics have been sewing like crazy. I'd love to see some of the stuff you guys are making with this, because we can't keep it in stock. We get it and then it's gone. Yeah, it's all, it goes on back order quite often, so I order as often as I can. It's $16.95 a yard, um, and it's twice as wide as this. I think it's like 40 Yeah, it's, it's big, so you could almost do upholstery with it pretty okay. easily. You could, not almost, you can. You can. You, you can, can do, do upholstery. upholstery with it. You can, can. Um, so we've got restock of the dark with the black three stripes, new red, and then a restock of the blue three stripes. Here, you need to bring have... this over, though. I don't, you might be oh, off. Oh, sorry. 
You're on the edge of the video there. One, two, three, four, five. We have six different kinds, so check it out on the website. Um, and they're all flat rate shipping, so no matter how many yards you order, it's $7.95 shipping on these. I think that's everything. That is. It's all the stuff. Some Thanks fun round top stuff, some new stuff at the shop, some stuff back in stock. So much stuff. Um, JRBHome.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And home and decor. home decor. <laughs> Love you guys. See you later. All right. Get this lavender scoop dip. Does it hold too? So that's like halfway. So that's, no, that's, that's like two thirds. That's how full your bowl was. That's not how don't full. Don't you try to deny it. Oh, it's going to be so much less. Hold on. I was right. I, I said it would fill it up halfway. Mm. That is, You that put is, more in that bowl I this did time. not. Yes, you did. It's right. This is your new bowl. <laughs> I'm not eating out of that. Would that be embarrassing to bring this to the table with your fruity loops? No, it's just a lot to clean.